to the latest edition of the Miss Gibraltar pageant, the head-to-head -head challenge. My name is Kaylee Mifsud. And I am Shayana Safaldi, and we will be your hosts for today's challenge. So in 2017, the Miss World organization launched the head-to-head -head challenge so that all the contestants could get a fair shot and prove themselves to become uh, worthy of being in the top 40. Number One Models has been inspired by this and has wanted to introduce it this year so that you, the public, can get to know all of our contestants on a more personal level. So please welcome group number one. Mia Peach, Skyan Pratt, Cheyenne McIntosh and Catherine Han. Girls, you all look beautiful today and please don't be nervous, just be yourselves and the public will surely love you. So let me tell you how this works. The contestants have been divided into three different groups. For the challenge today, we're going to meet the contestants, watch the introduction videos and ask them a question based on their videos. We will then ask them a final surprise question. And this is how you can vote for People's Choice Award. To vote for Mia Peach, sponsored by Extreme Innovations, call 8680. To vote for Skyam Pratt, sponsored by Finance.gi, please call 8681. To vote for Cheyenne McIntosh, sponsored by Vasadoni Automotive Group, call 8682. To vote for Catherine Han, sponsored by The Luxury Hire, please phone 8683. Call costs £1. Mobile surcharges apply. Please seek bill player's permission prior to calling. Okay. So are you ready, girls? Let's start with contestant number one, Mia Peach. Hi, my name is Mia Peach. I am contestant number one. I am 21 years old and I am sponsored by Extreme Innovations. An interesting fact about myself is that this year I joined up with Jibsams because I want to be an advocate for mental health awareness. Um, I think it's important that we make awareness for it so that everyone knows it's okay not to be okay and to talk about it. If you would like to vote for me, my number is 8680. Thank you. That's fantastic, Mia, and so inspiring. I'd like to ask you a question. How would you use the Mr. Volter title to raise awareness for your chosen charity? Thank you, Kaylee. That's a good question. I would use my title as Mr. Volter to promote awareness for mental health, as I think it's a very important thing that we all need to talk about. Um, I think I would be a strong advocate and a role model for mental health awareness, as I myself had had my fair share of struggles. But I think it's important to send the message out that it's an okay not to be okay, and that no one should suffer in silence. That was a great answer, Mia, and you're right. Mental health is something that must be spoken about. Um, and thank you for that answer. And now we're going to move on to contestant number two, Skyan Pratt. Hello, my name is Skyan Pratt. I'm contestant number two. I'm 20 years old and I'm sponsored by Finance.gi. A fact about myself is that when I was 13 years old, I weighed over 80 kilos and I lost it in over two years and it really made me um, gain my self-confidence. So please vote for me on 8681. Thank yeah. you. Wow, Skyan, what an, an inspirational story. And if I may say, you look fantastic. So my question for you is, what encouraged you to take the step to lose the weight? Well, Cheyenne, I decided to change my lifestyle as I didn't feel like that was myself. I wanted to improve a healthy um, lifestyle and it made me feel more confident with myself. That's great. And how did you make these changes? Well, I set my mind to the goal and I went on a diet. I also started training. And until I didn't see my achievement, I didn't stop. Wow, Skyan, that's certainly fantastic. Well done. Thank you. OK, so now we have contestant number three, Cheyenne McIntosh. Hello, everyone. My name is Shaya McIntosh. I'm 23 years old. I'm contestant number three, and I'm sponsored by Vasadoni Automotive Group. An interesting fact about me is I'm very methodically minded, and for this reason, I work in accounts. I'm currently studying towards my accounting degree, and if you catch me on my phone, I'm most likely playing Sudoku because I love a challenge, and I'm always trying to beat my personal best. Please vote for me on 8682. Cheyenne, you mentioned you work in accounts and you're also studying, which sounds like you're keeping yourself really busy. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Well, Kaylee, thank you for your question. I work for Vasadoni Automotive Group, which is a very supportive company, and they invest a lot and value their people a lot. So I do see myself within the company. 
I would like to immerse myself within my current role and learn the areas where we need development and learn the ins and the outs so that I can make the best and um, get the best out of the department. However, in the next couple of years, I do see myself completing my studies. So I hope that at that point, I can expand my um, expertise and help other departments with my skills and my knowledge learnt in my current role. And hopefully at that point, I'll also be um, skilled enough and qualified enough to move on, on within the career ladder of the organisation. Wow, Cheyenne, that's really great. It sounds like you're going to be even busier than I thought. <laughs> and now we continue to our last contestant, contestant number four, Catherine Han. Hello, I'm Catherine Han. I'm 17 years old. I'm contestant number four and I'm sponsored by Luxury High Art. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be bullied when I was younger and it made me the woman I am now and made me stronger and feel more comfortable. Please vote for me on 8683. Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear that you were bullied when you were younger, Catherine. But your question today is, what would you tell the younger generation about bullying? I would like to tell the younger generation to not compare themselves to each other because nowadays there's so much social media and everything and they compare themselves to the pictures that they see in social media, uh, to pictures that they see in magazines and they make themselves insecure and want to compare themselves and want to be them. But the expectations are completely different and behind the scenes there's so many editing, filters and everything so they need to learn how to lo uh, love themselves and just appreciate how, how they are like, by themselves, yeah. Wow. What a beautiful message, Catherine, well done. And here's another reminder on how to vote. To vote for Mia Peach, sponsored by Extreme Innovations, call 8680. To vote for Sky Ann Pratt, sponsored by Finance.gi, please call 8681. To vote for Cheyenne McIntosh, sponsored by Vasadoni Automotive Group, call 8682. To vote for Catherine Han, sponsored by The Luxury Hire, please phone 8683. Call costs £1, mobile surcharges apply. Please seek bill player's permission prior to calling. And now it's time for the final question. Mia, your question is, what does it mean to be a modern woman? Thank you, Cheyenne. To me, being a modern woman means to be comfortable and confident within yourself and to appreciate the opportunities that we have as the women before us didn't get as many opportunities in life. And you're so right in saying that, Mia. Well done. Okay, so our next question is for Skyan. Your question is, what would you tell the world about Gibraltar? I would tell the world that Gibraltar is not only beautiful, but it's a small and safe place and it's very rich in history. Fantastic, very good answer. And our next question is for Cheyenne. Who is your role model and why? Wow, um, that's a good question, thanks Cheyenne. I would without a doubt have to say that my role model would be my father. Not exactly for everything he's achieved, nor for the material things that he's had to offer, but more for the selfless person that he is and for the person that I am today, thanks to him. Um, despite all the adversities that he's been faced with in life and despite being a very young single father to my brother and I, um, raising us alone was very challenging at times but not once did he think about giving up and he always has so much love to give that I would say he's a true example to follow and he's actually shown me what the true meaning of unconditional love is and he's taught me that I'm capable of achieving anything that I set my mind to because I'm going to quote him actually. He says that if I believe I can, I'm already halfway there. So I appreciate everything that he's taught me and I would not be here today living my dream if it wasn't for his love and support in everything that I do. So I thank him because not only my father, but he's absolute, my absolute best friend. So I know that he's watching and if you don't mind, I just want to say thank you, dad, for everything that you've done and I hope that I'm making you proud. Wow, what a beautiful answer and I have no doubt that you've made your dad really proud and you've really spoken from the heart. So well done, Cheyenne. Okay, and our last question is for Catherine. Your question is, what is one of the biggest challenges young girls face today? I would say it would be social media and bullying because people use social media in a negative way to make people feel insecure and bring them down. And there you have it, your group one, ladies and gentlemen. 
Stay tuned for our second episode of your Head to Head Challenge. See you then. To vote for Mia Peach, sponsored by Extreme Innovations, call 8680. To vote for Sky and Pratt, sponsored by Finance.gi, please call 8681. To vote for Cheyenne McIntosh, sponsored by Vasadoni Automotive Group, call 8682. To vote for Catherine Han, sponsored by The Luxury Hire, please phone 8683. Call costs £1. Mobile surcharges apply. Please seek bill player's permission prior to calling.